Hello! Welcome back to my channel! It's a car vlog. Why did I do that? I do not know. <laughs> so, I am so excited. I live in the northeastern part of the country. It is definitely fall here already. I got fall vibes on my eyes. I'm wearing mostly ColourPop. You will see a couple videos coming up about ColourPop in general, so you can check those out. This wig is part of a video that I'm putting up um, on a wig last chance. I did a wig declutter and I actually filmed it because I usually don't. I hope you enjoyed that. If it's not up yet, um, I will put it up and you can let me know if you want to see it sooner rather than later. But this was, it's a wig's Dara in the color, I think it was like, I don't know, TP350 something or other. So it's like a reddish. It's like perfect for fall. I love it. It was one of the ones that I decided not to get rid of. So yay, and yeah, that's what's going on. So I wanted to, I, I have a few get ready with me's that are going up, and I talk a lot about different things, but I know some people either aren't really interested in makeup, or they don't wanna watch a video that that's long, that that's long, that that, that is that long. <laughs> I can't. What I wanted to do is just talk about, I have decided that I'm going to do some live content and I will link the get ready with me. Everything will have timestamps. So I'll link right, really explain and go deep into that whole thing. Um, but I'm going to do some live content and I decided that I get a lot of questions. I'm very active in my comment se section. If you have commented to me, most likely I have reacted or commented back to you, especially if you ask a question. If I haven't done that, it's because I haven't seen it. You can just sort of put a comment on, an, on a, another video or put another comment. Um, the, the app that I use to keep up with my comments, it does prioritize questions. So if you put a question mark in there when you're asking a question, I will see it uh, much sooner. I am on my way to go shopping with my mom. I need a dress. I have gained a lot of weight. <laughs> I've gained weight over COVID, which I'm not at all happy about. Um, I have some videos about my weight journey and my weight loss journey and all that. I can do that in another video, but I'm going to a wedding with my partner and I mean, we haven't gone anywhere for like almost two years. So I didn't even think about the fact that I don't have a dress or what I would wear. I, I don't even remember the last wedding I went to. I literally think the last wedding I went to was my own. Um, I got divorced several, I don't know, five, six years ago. I don't think I've been to a wedding since my own wedding. So anyway, in the live videos, I've decided I'm gonna go through my comment section and sort of keep a running tab of the comments or of the questions. I'm still gonna answer your questions, but there's a lot of questions that I answer, but it's, sometimes I, it's a visual thing that I need to show you something, especially if you're asking me about a particular technique. So what I've decided to do, is I'm going to really try to do the live weekly, and when I answer your question, I'll answer it, and then I'll let you know if I'm actually going to expand on it in the live version, so that you will know if, you're, if your question's being answered. Um, if I don't do that, and I may <clears throat> last minute decide that I'm gonna include your question, but just know that those live videos um, and, and I've been time stamping everything, so I will time stamp my lives with the questions um, where they come in and when I answer them. I think that, A, the live video I can get out like quicker, because there's certain questions where someone's asking me about like a technique or a particular website to purchase wigs or whatever, and I can answer that. But in the live, you're gonna get an answer more quickly and with the most accurate, up-to-date information that I have. Um, a lot of times I link the videos and things that I have already filmed on a particular subject, but I've been doing this for a few years. So I want to make sure that yes, the videos are still relevant, um, but I might have added or changed my mind about something or added additional information or just understand things a little bit differently. So I can expand in the lives on these questions. So I think that's what I'm going to do. It's really center these lives around the questions that I'm receiving in my comment section. So I am going through and like highlighting different questions and just kind of keeping a running tab so that if I don't get a lot of questions that week that I think um, you know the majority of you might be interested in, I have a running tab of older questions that are still relevant and I still think that you would enjoy. 
January. So that's what I'm planning to do. So because of that, I am going to answer a few questions. Um, my car vlogs go up pretty regularly. My upload schedule is Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. I usually put car vlogs up on Fridays just because it's not my regular upload. It's a little bit of an addition. I know it's not things that everybody wants to see. Um, Friday typically is my upload for either like um, videos where I am working with a partner, getting PR, collab videos, like the, the additional videos outside my normal content I usually put up on Fridays. But anywho, like that was a whole thing. One of the big questions that I want to answer is I get a question a lot about what I use or what I am doing to the part in my videos um, if I'm not doing like a step-by-step -step installation and I'm not saying I'm going to insert photographs and things, but um, I'm putting powder in my parting area and along the hairline. The powder that I absolutely love, you don't need to use this powder, this is just the powder that I love and that I use pretty religiously, unless I'm trying to just like use up another powder, is the Bare Minerals uh, Bare Pro Powder Foundation in the color Cool Beige 10. So Cool Beige 10 it would match me like in the winter time. My coloring changes quite a bit from winter to summer. Um, and I'm, I'm fairly lighter skinned in the summer or in the winter time. Um, so I can't wear like medium and beigey tones. Um, I have a neutral skin tone so I can go warm or cool. I usually lean torn towards neutral and cool because I just like it how it looks better. Not that, you know, I don't know. I just like cool tones and neutral tones in general. But I use that in the powder because, or in the powder, in the part, because I feel like putting that uh, slightly lighter than your skin powder in the parting area um, mimics a scalp a little bit better because your scalp is slightly lighter than your normal skin because it's not seeing sun as much and things like that. Um, and then when I am wearing a lace front, I always now, I didn't used to, but I always put powder right along the edge where the lace is meeting my skin. And usually it's um, the powder, I usually use the Cool Beige 10, but if I'm really tan, then I just use a uh, powder that's close to my skin tone along the uh, lace edge, just because I don't want it to have like a white line. Um, and then sometimes I actually go back over it a little bit with bronzer, but that's only if I'm really, really tan. And like, I haven't been really tan for the first year of COVID. The first summer of COVID, I was outside constantly because like, what else are you gonna do? So it's very tan. But last year, this, this summer, I didn't do anything. I really didn't. So I didn't get that tan. So the tool that I'm using is a, it's made for a makeup brush. It is linked. All of the tools and things that I use are linked in my description box. I, I probably should say that more often. I just don't. Uh, the equipment that I use to film and the tools that I'm using are listed in the description box for the most part. The tool that I use for my part is an, a makeup brush that is meant for eyeliner and it is some people categorize it as an oval style makeup brush. If you're uh, familiar with the oval makeup brushes, like the foundation brushes, it's big and it's oval. A very expensive brand that first came out with it is from Artiste, but they have them everywhere. Moda has them now, Walmart. Um, but they're just like big and round and more flat. They're like, they look kind of like more like a paddle brush or some people call them toothbrush brushes. Um, but it is part of that set and style of brushes made for eyeliner and it's perfectly tapered and for the part like the way that it looks so i have linked in the description box where you can get them on amazon for super cheap you can't buy the the only place that i've ever seen the toothbrush makeup brush the eyeliner one separately outside of a set outside of a set is at dollar tree the only place i've ever seen it it's kind of random um, I've only found it there once or twice, um, but that is an option. But online, you can get the whole set, and it's like maybe a set of like four brushes or five brushes, and they're like $5.99 to $8.99. Um, the other brushes are very helpful. I also like the one that's made for eyeshadow. It's just a little bit bigger. You can use that along your hairline. So the other ones are useful in terms of wigs, but 
I also use that one whenever I'm cleaning roots. I use the same type of oval or toothbrush style makeup brush, the one for made for just eyeshadow. That's what I'm using to make, to either do rooting or if I feel like I need to close up the part a little bit, that is the style brush that I'm using. I love those brushes because of just the ergonomic shape, but also because they are fairly dense and the eyeliner one is just perfect. It's just like right in the part. It does look like I'm using like some kind of crazy tool just because it is that easy. Those two brushes are definitely ones that I use often. I may not talk about too much, so I wanted to pull that question out specifically. The other question that I get quite a bit, and I'm going to do a dedicated video on this, but I do want to just answer, is about tangling. There are various factors that will contribute more or less to tangling. Just like your regular hair, if you have a long wig, it's going to tangle. If you have long hair, it can tangle. So those are just things like wigs aren't magical and infallible. You know, they're fibers. They're just like anything else. Um, you do have to maintain them. The type of fiber does really play into whether it tangles and also the style and length. If you have bob styles or anything that um, is above your shoulders, it's not going to tangle as much just because it's not hitting and rubbing on stuff as much. Um, if you have a longer wig, it's going to tangle. The fiber, if you have a silkier wig, those definitely tangle more than a yaki or, or textured type of wig. I also find like stone straight ones tend to tangle more. And again, I'm going to do an in-depth video. This is just like an uh, overview. But this style where it's sort of curlyish or wavy and also yaki, those ones I find don't tangle as much. And that's kind of what I prefer. Yeah. So that's what I have to say quickly on the tangling. But if you're if you're trying to like uh, go into wigs and be like, I don't want to deal with tangling at all, you're going to have to go with a shorter wig. That's just, it is what it is. Because wigs tangle just like hair tangles. I love wigs for a million reasons. Um, but they aren't, like I said, they're not infallible. So if tangling is something that you really, really are going to be concerned with, you're going to have to go not even shoulder length, above shoulder and shorter. So, all right. So that is what I have for you for this car vlog. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any other questions that you would like me to include either in car vlogs or when I start doing lives, go ahead and start putting them in. I'm going to start keeping track. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. If you have, thanks so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.